Hello and welcome. This is Tracy, and in this video, I'll walk you through how to set up a Hoggle node with Docker Compose. Hoggle is a real-time networking server that enables devices to communicate with each other, and by running a node, you're helping us to decentralize the network. The hardware requirements are minimal, but keep in mind that your server should be running 24-7 without interruption, since if it shuts down, anyone who's connected to it will get kicked out of their session, resulting in poor user experience. You also need an externally accessible public IP address and a domain name configured to point to your IP address. Don't worry too much about the reverse proxy or SSL certificate, since the Docker Compose setup already takes care of those. There are many ways to get Hoggle up and running, but Docker Compose is probably the easiest, so that's what we'll do today. You can see it's not that many steps. First, go to What is my IP to find your public IP address. Copy it. Next, go to your domain registrar. I use Google, but this step should be more or less the same regardless of which one you use. Go to Manage Domain and find the DNS settings. Here you'll create a custom A record, call it Hoggle, and paste in your IP address. This usually takes a few minutes to propagate, and in the meantime, we'll set up Docker. Go to docker.com and choose the download option for your operating system. Fast forward two minutes, and it's downloaded, so now we'll install it. Once that's done, go ahead and open Docker and go through all the initial setup stuff, which will take about a minute. Now go back to GitHub, download the source code, and unzip it. All we need from here is the docker-compose.yml file, which we'll drag to the default directory that Terminal uses. Open this file. Any text editor will do. Scroll down and replace the example URL with your own domain for virtual host, let's encrypt host, and hoggle public endpoint. You should also remember to add your wallet address to hoggle wallet addr. Now open Terminal, or Command Prompt on Windows, and type docker-compose-up-d. This will download and set up Hoggle as well as a reverse proxy and SSL certificate. When it's done, you should see three containers grouped together in Docker. Click on Hoggle to check the logs. If everything went well, you should see Hoggle is successfully registered to HDS, as well as periodic health checks. These are the 0x smoke messages. Congratulations! Your Hoggle node is now up and running. Or perhaps it's too early for congratulations. If you see registering Hoggle to HDS failed messages in Docker for more than a few minutes, keep watching for some troubleshooting tips. There's also this troubleshooting guide near the bottom of the README file on GitHub. First, let's do an external check with RecBin. This tool doesn't always work for me, but sometimes a refresh will fix it. Paste in your domain and click Send. If everything is working properly, you'll get a 400 bad request status, and it will say Not WebSocket Protocol. If you can't access RecBin, you can also use a different device on a different network, for example a mobile phone using data, to just visit the site, and it should also say Not WebSocket Protocol. I'll show you here quickly, but note that it doesn't always give the correct result if you're on the same internal network as the Hoggle node. If you get the wrong response in RecBin, it means your Hoggle node is not reachable. Let's open Terminal and run nslookup on the domain. 
If the address is wrong, or if it points to multiple addresses, revisit your DNS settings. You can also check your router config. Navigate to your router's IP address and log in. Now find your router's WAN IP address. This should match your device's public IP address. If not, you may have to contact your internet service provider and ask them to give you an external public IP address. Here are a few other things you can do. Check that your firewalls and port forwarding rules allow incoming traffic to ports 80 and 443. Read through the troubleshooting and metrics section on GitHub. It goes into more detail about specific status codes and possible causes. If your node was working before but stopped working, it may be due to a change in your IP address. It's recommended to use a static local IP address since if your IP address changes frequently, you'll have to keep updating your domain. The disconnections and downtime between updates will affect your Hoggle node's reputation and token rewards and may result in penalties or bans. Lastly, please join us on Discord and we'll try to help you out in the Hoggle chat channel. There will be a link to Discord in the description. And that wraps up this tutorial. Thank you so much for your participation.